Thank you. Nice day. Great day. Great day. I'm off to one of those advanced seminars on communications. You know, the sort of thing, uh, um, uh, laser beams, uh, optical fibres, video phones, that sort of thing. Nice. A brave new world. That's what this firm needs, you know. A blast into the 21st century. Vision. Vision. That's the thing. Right. Planning. Forward thinking. Reaching out and grabbing new ideas. A lot of get up and go. Bye-bye. Oh, Jones, I'm... Sorry your lunch took a bit longer than expected. Glad you're here. Come on in. No time to take your coat off. We're all go-go here. Got a pad and pencil? Uh, take a seat, Miss Jones. Um, letter to Smith. A, B, components. Uh, I've been trying to reach him by phone. The damn fellow's never in. Uh, I want to tell him we're pleased with our last batch of components. And egg him on a bit. Keep up the good work and I'll support our production. Why don't you send him a telex? Tell one? No, 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 too dear. Only keep them for bereavements and all that. Oh, no, no, a telex. You have telex. Have we? Oh. Well, up with computers and very types and everything, I'm not surprised. What do I do? Well, just give me the message. Now, I'll have it sent. You'll get a copy for your records, and he'll have a printed record of your message. Ah, but what if he's not in? It wouldn't matter if his firm was shut down for the day. Their teleprinter will automatically accept your telex. Ah, well, I'll be blurred. <laughs> Look, uh, have a little look through these. Uh, I'll go out and powder the old nose, if you know what I mean. <clears throat> See if some of those are telexable. I say that's a good word, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. Ah. Well, how'd you go? Quite a number of these are suitable for reply by telex. There's some that just need a quick phone call and one or two that could do with a good old-fashioned typewritten reply. Right. Well, let's get into it. <clears throat> um, Mrs. Clements Brown and Company Limited, uh, 18 U Bond Street, London. I uh, say, so would this cost a fortune? No. Telex is just like STD. You only pay for the time it takes to transmit the message. There's no three-minute charges and it is cheaper than using the telephone. But how long does it take to send a telex? Well, with your tape facility, the operator prepares the message before sending it. Then the tape transmits at 66 words a minute, and your message won't take that long. Yeah, for a temporary typist, you know a lot. I'm not a... Uh, don't, don't interrupt. You know, I'm rather for this telex caper. But we've got a lot of overseas business. There's over a hundred countries that can be reached automatically by a telex. And the beauty of it is you don't have to wake people up to receive your message. Wake them up? Well, it's about 3 a.m. in Britain right now. Oh, no wonder we can't beat the palms of cricket. Don't you try to get boycott out in the dark? <laughs> Go on. Well, your message will be in London in seconds. When they get to the office in the morning, they attend to it. That's about 9 p.m. our time. They send you a reply, and it's here waiting for you when you come to work tomorrow morning. Wonders will never cease. You know, you're really quite remarkable. Could I ask you a personal favour? Could I see our telex? The TX20 is a streamlined telex machine. It's very compact and, as you can see, it looks very like an office typewriter. It's quiet, too. Yes. Now, it has three typefaces which make it easy to identify incoming calls from those transmitted and pre-taped. Oh. Now, this, um, this pre-taping you were telling me about, Dan. Uh... I'll show you. Oh. I've made a mistake, but it doesn't matter. I just need to backspace and delete it from the tape, and it's okay. Well, that certainly is clever. <laughs> now I'll show you how quickly the tape transmits. Good. Uh, what happens when I'm uh, making a tape? Can anybody call me on telex? They certainly can. In fact, you can prepare a tape without a page copy. In fact, you can even be transmitting a message and still go ahead and prepare another tape. Sounds pretty complicated to me. No, it's quite simple, really. The incoming call takes over the page copy and you just continue to type on the tape. Hmm. 
What else can this streamlined TX-20 do? Uh, uh, take dictation and type at the same time? Well, if you want incoming calls taped for storage reasons or security, you simply set the machine to give you tape on all your calls. Well, Miss Jones, I'll have coffee now. Uh, two lumps, no milk. Um, is Mr. Fotheringham in? Uh, yes. Thank you. Ah, hello, JB. Can I do something for you? Yes? Fotheringham, I am not being informed. I can't get Wotherspoon on the phone. He's gone to some great telecommunications seminar. Two of our subsidiaries don't answer mail for days. It's just not good enough. Oh, you should try Telex, JB. Oh, you and your blast TV commercials. I don't want a tonic or vitamins. Telex, I do not need. Action, I do. But Telex is action, JB. Oh, hello, Miss Jones. Uh, JB, this is Miss Jones, our temporary typist. This is JB, our managing director, Miss Jones. How do you do? Excuse me. Uh, milk and uh, two sugars, please. She's a regular whiz on this old telex business, you know. Mind you, uh, I know a bit about it myself. Did you know, JB, that you can send messages on telex instantly, both here and overseas, and it's cheaper than STD? Ah, oh, hello, beautiful. Is uh, JB in there with old Fluffingham? Good, good, good. I'll pop straight in. Ah, JB. I have great, great news for you. Oh, hello, old boy. Hello, yeah, Wallace. Well, I've been to this seminar. Very, very heady stuff. Advanced thinking and all that. And you know what? We need ah, a telex. Yeah. Tell me, did you actually see one? Yes, actually, in operation. So, now I've got great news for you. I want you to walk slowly down the corridor and look into room number... Uh, uh, 21, JB. Thank you. Room 21. And then you come back here and tell me what you saw. Right. Now, tell me more about this telex. I mean, um, should we have more than one? Um, should we have them in every state? Mr. Wotherspoon is back. Oh, come in, fellow. Well, 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 young Mr. Uh, uh, Wotherspoon, sir. Uh, Wotherspoon. It's there, JB. We've got one. Congratulations. We've had one for some time. And now, by heck, we're going to use it. Miss Jones, I want you to take this young stargazer in hand and teach him all about telex. By the way, Miss Jones, you're very bright for a temporary typist. Tell me, what agency do you come from? I've been trying to tell you. I'm not your temporary typist. I'm from Telecom. Telecom? You're not a temporary typist? I'm a Telecom service advisor. I came to make an appointment. I wanted to sell your company the idea of more economic Telex usage. And sold by heck. <laughs> and the best damn sale I ever saw. Uh, with a slip, uh, with a slop. Uh, 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 summon the managers to the boardroom. Tell them that Miss Jones will be there. Yes, sir. And now, Miss Jones, I want you to show them how to take a Telex. <laughs> Gentlemen, may I present Telex TX20, the modern streamlined Telex machine which will bring your communication system up to date. The Telex TX20 is your link into the Telex network and enables you to call any other Telex in Australia or in the world. Now you may well ask, what is Telex? Telex is a system using teleprinter machines, in your case the TX20, to provide instant written communication between users. Now, each telex service has a number, like each telephone does, and an answer back code for identification. To make a call, you simply call the required number by using the keyboard. The called number automatically answers with the answer back code. You don't need an operator at the other end of the line to accept messages, as it is an automatic 24-hour service. What you send on your telex is received at the same time at the other end of the line, so you both have a printed copy of the message. Telex combines the speed of the telephone with the safeguard of the written word. When do we use Telex? You can use Telex instead of writing letters and making telephone calls. Telex has a variety of uses. For example, as well as sending messages, you can make hotel motel bookings and uh, use the service for order work. 
Do you know that there are over 20,000 Telex users in Australia and many thousands more overseas that you can call from your Telex? How can we call these overseas countries? Do we need a, a special connection? Well, all Telex services have access to most countries either automatically or with the help of an operator. Now, each country that is available automatically has its own destination code and the operator uses this when making the calls. But what about overseas time differences? All telex machines can accept messages without an operator. Fatheringham. That means the message is received at the same time as it's sent and is in fact waiting for the office to open in the morning. How much do our telex calls cost? With telex you only pay for the time it takes to transmit your message. There's no minimum charging period and it is cheaper than using the telephone. Now, every telex service has a meter in the telex exchange which registered as intervals according to the distance of the call. And each meter registration costs 10 cents. What about international call charges? They must be expensive. All calls, including international, are charged according to the length of the call. Therefore, the shorter the message, the lower the cost. Fotheringham, will you be quiet? Please continue, my dear. Well, as an example, a one-minute call to Perth from Melbourne costs about 50 cents. A similar call to the US costs about $2.20. The benefits of speed, accuracy of a written record, and after-hours reception of messages far outweigh the cost of international telex. And obviously, telex can be used in preference to telephone calls. Now, we're interested in cutting communication costs, so better use of telex would seem to be the answer. Uh, right, JB? Good with a ladle. Uh, with a spoon, sir. Uh, you're improving. Uh, thank you. Well, telex can certainly be used instead of the telephone, but your employees must know about it. So often the telex is located out of the sight of most people. Could be out of sight, out of mind is the case here. Touché. It's up to you as managers to ensure that your people know about telex and continue to use it. How can we encourage the staff to use telex more often in preference to writing letters and making telephone calls? Well, you can start by supplying your staff with distinctive telex message pads. You should also have special art trays clearly marked telex in every department and arrange for distribution and collection. Also, I think if you have signs around the offices saying, could this have been done more economically with telex? Encourage your staff to see the possibilities of telex as an instant communication over the delays of letter writing, the cost of telephone calls, and you'll be well on the way to becoming telex conscious. <laughs>